I mean, obviously, you want to, um, you know, modernize something that's been in place for 30 years. In our estimation, it's been working. You know, American jobs are at stake. Canadian jobs are at stake. Uh, making a better NAFTA is entirely within within reason, and we're working hard to get there. You know people, he knows people. Can we just do something right now? I've got a pen right I, here. Can we, can, uh, do you think we can figure I, it out, I, I find that government deals take a little longer I than 10 so. seconds, I but, hope so. I, but I, we're, I, I know you know, we're working through the details. Government. I know his defense minister very well. It's a very qualified uh, crowd, and I certainly hope you can work it out. You know, if I may say, Go ahead, so, apart from steel and, and aluminum, I think if we think about tomorrow's industries, we all uh, this this occasions the whole question of trade. The big issue for our countries in trade is not one another. The big, in, in my judgment, it's China. China is a communist dictatorship, and we're in a, a sustained economic relationship with a communist dictatorship. What that means is, if we there are no rules, and everybody just makes individual deals, China. Xi Jinping can bring to bear economic, military, and political power in a combined way that all the rest of us cannot, given the kind of societies we are. So it seeds the advantage in trade, in my judgment, tactically, to the communist dictatorship. So I think some rules-based, NAFTA is, is for North, North America, but I think we need something for Asia uh, as well. Otherwise, the Chinese get to pick off our companies, get pick, pick off smaller uh, companies and we seal seed the battlefield to them. That's the big thing that's going to determine our children's futures because half of humanity and half of the world's economy is in that part of the world and that's true mm. for Canada as well as the United States. So we have that in common and so sticking up for principle in trade is bigger than just an exchange between the two of us. Uh, it has strategic importance for us and they are an ally of our after all. Right. How do you think Canadian negotiators will eventually uh, react to the, 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 the tariffs. In other words, you know, we heard you get exempted to start as long as you, you know, indefinitely, as long as you come around on NAFTA. Will they take that as a, they like being pressured like that, or will it, will it be counterproductive or productive for, for the, an eventual agreement to be reached, do you think? Well, I, I mean, I think the, the discussion around the steel and aluminum tariffs clearly demonstrate the strength of our relationship. I mean, there's an understanding. That's one, one way of looking at no, it, I guess. Look, there's an understanding that, we're, that, we, that we trade together, that we're part of an integrated North America. From a security standpoint, I mean, Canadian steel is actually used in Humvees on, to protect right. against IEDs for the United That's States. Right. You know, so we are clearly working together on global issues and on trade. So I think this demonstrates a sense of, of, uh, of the relationship, which is you know, transcends any will, president or prime minister. Will it be used minister. for leverage? Will, 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 the, will America use that for leverage to get what they want? Because there wasn't a carve-out initially. What about when it was first postulated, where there were going to be no carve-outs? That, that wasn't an example of the working together between... It, well, well, it actually, you know, I mean, I can't speculate what exactly was originally come up with versus where we are, but I can tell you that I've spoken to Stephen Mnuchin three times in the last week, and that just demonstrates our, our continuing ability to work together. And NAFTA is the same. I mean, it's, it's a negotiation, so obviously we're working to get a better deal. Uh, we, we, from our perspective, see that NAFTA, you know, the trading relationship helps, you know, Americans through jobs, helps Canadians. So getting to a better uh, arrangement, recognizing a whole host of economic issues that weren't the case 30 years ago, it, it, uh, it takes some, some working together and, and we are cautiously optimistic we're going to get there. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.